everyone. The feature race on Saturday at Santa Anita is the $70,000 Swing Time Stakes. It's a one-mile grass race for fillies and mares, a restricted stakes race. And for a Saturday in October, the truth of the matter is it's not a very compelling attraction, especially compared to what's going on at Keeneland and back at Belmont Park. In fact, on Saturday at Santa Anita, there are three maiden races earlier on the card that I find at least as interesting as the feature race. In race number three, an Australian import by the name of Kazuhiku makes his second U.S. start off a troubled trip in his U.S. debut. And I expect Kazuhiko to be very tough to beat in race number three. Race four is for Calbred two-year-old maidens. And first-time starter Straight Up G debuts with a series of fast works and a win early pedigree. And in race number five, Lucky Girl, Runs a mile on turf against two-year-old maiden fillies. Lucky girl, an import from Europe, making her <clears throat> her U.S. debut for trainer Richard Baltus. And based on her career debut in Ireland and how she is trained here in the States, I would expect Lucky Girl to make some noise in race number five. Straight up G in race four and Lucky Girl in race number five are both trained by Richie Baltus, and Baltus also trains the likely favorite for the swing time stakes. Let's go ahead and take a look at the field. Baltus trains two starters in this race, actually two entrants anyway, those being Ipidamia's girl and the front runner Nasty, who uses her speed and tries to take them as far as she can. This race is a restricted stakes race for fillies and mares who have not won a stakes race this year worth $60,000 to the winner. It's an important distinction to make. You have to understand the conditions of the race. And in this case, the conditions suit a couple of entrants anyway. Ipidamia's girl who won a stakes race two starts back worth $50,000 to the winner. And the conditions also suit Avenue de France, who won a stakes race last time out, worth $30,000 to the winner. So a couple of stakes winners in this field, recent stakes winners, I should say, in Ipidamia's Girl and also the Leonard Powell trainee, that being Avenue de France. But they are eligible to this race because they did not earn $60,000. The thing about Ipidamia's Girl is this. She's the favorite. She's the most accomplished in the field, in my opinion. She's the fastest in the uh, race on speed figures. But she sometimes grabs the bit and just wants to take off. She did it last time going a mile and three-eighths. You can guess how that turned out. She finished last. She did it three starts back in a tougher spot, a graded stakes race, and she did not finish in the top three. But two starts back in the Osanita stakes, well, let's take a look at the stretch run and watch Ipidamia's girl on the outside and Brooke on the inside. Brooke is going to actually get first run. That's her in the blue silks and Ipidamia's girl on the far outside and a couple of good, solid, honest fillies throwing it down through the stretch in the Osanitas. Ipidamia's girl was simply a better filly than Brooke on the day, and she was able to wear down a very game runner-up in Brooke. And Brooke is also in this field. And she certainly has a big look. But Ipidamia's girl off that stakes win, if she can settle, and that's a big if with Ipidamia's girl, who has a habit of wanting to just run. Uh, if she can ration her speed, she should be tough to beat. She gets a new jockey in Mario Gutierrez on Saturday. I think that should be fine. Okay, as far as Avenue de France, her stakes win last time out was at Golden Gate Fields. And it looked like she was on her way to a relatively – convincing victory when we take a look at the stretch run of the luther burbank you'll see what i mean and this is rallying wide on the outside avenue de avenue de france and she's going to hit the front it looks like she's just going to take off right she's just going to roll past the whole field and win for fun from here it's just a matter of how far however clock strikes 12 came and made it close at the wire i'm not sure if avenue de france pulled herself up or maybe Clock Strikes 12 was just running fast at the wire. But anyway, Avenue de France got there first. That was her most recent start. It was a couple months ago. She comes in off a two-month freshening for Leonard Powell. And Avenue de France is a definite contender, along with Ipidami's girl and along with Brooke. A couple of long shots I just want to touch on because I don't think they're good enough, but I'm not 
entirely convinced that that is the right opinion, including Cowboy's daughter. Cowboy's daughter is on a tear right now. She has won her last three starts. She can handle most any surface, and she is dead game in the stretch. As we take a look at her most recent win, it was at Los Alamitos on dirt, and Cowboy's daughter on the outside, the race, she's going to win this race easily, right? But that's Fifi Farrow on the inside. Fifi Farrow comes up along Cowboy's daughter in, on the inside, actually pokes her head in front. And I'm not sure if Cowboy's daughter allowed her rival back into the race and then said, well, dude, I'm not, you're not going to beat me today. Or if Fifi Farrow maybe just hung a little bit because she does have a tendency. But that was Cowboy's daughter displaying her tenacity and her will to win. That was her third consecutive win. She's up in class again on Saturday. Again, I don't think she's good enough, but you have to respect a sharp horse moving up in class. You've heard me say this before. Sharp horses moving up in class that are not, quote, good enough can sometimes be the best bet in racing. I don't think that's the case with Cowboy's Daughter. I just bring it up in case you're shopping for a price. Okay, one other horse I want to take a quick look at because her most recent win was visually impressive and she has definitely turned the corner for Vladimir Sarin. Her name is Norma Jean B. She won a maiden race two starts back and last time out at Del Mar, this was an impressive burst of late speed by Norma Jean B. Let's watch her roll through the stretch under Kent Sormo. Norma Jean B on the far outside she just she ran away from the field, and it was this is a, an impressive win. She came home in only 23.90 seconds. I say only, at least it was under 24 seconds. But that's a visually impressive turn of foot by a filly who is very good right now, and she also is moving up in class from one other than into this restricted stakes race. The swing time stakes on Saturday at Santa Anita, I think that it's all about Ipidamia's girl, Avenue de France and Brooke. Those are probably the first three betting choices. But don't forget to take a look at Kazuhiku in race number three, Straight Up G in race number four, and Lucky Girl in race number five, Saturday at Santa Anita.